Hey guys, welcome back to the Civil 3D tutorial. We're going to see how to extract contours from the tin surface. So in order to do that, go back to your tin surface. And uh, if in case if you're looking for the exercise file, you can find it in the description box below. So first get your tin surface onto your screen and select your surface and make sure that you set it to your uh, contours of your uh, interest. Um, this is one thing you need to be a uh, bit watchful. So let's say if you want to extract tin surface with an interval of 2 meters or 5 meters and 10 meters, you need to specify uh, that in the style. So that means you go to your surface properties and then you see there is a whole bunch of styles that you can set. You can have uh, 1 meters and 2 meters and 5 meters and you can set the respective style and then if you extract that co those contour lines, it will be uh, 5 meter interval contour lines okay and just in case if you want some specific interval contour lines you can always edit your surface and then you can go and change uh, values that you want within your style itself all right so now when you want to extract uh, contour lines from your surface select your surface and then on the header there is an option that says extract from surface this should be under the surface tools when you click on the drop down you got uh, plenty of options here so we're going to choose the option that says extract objects click on that and there is an option that says extract all major contours all minor contours I'm going to uncheck all minor contours click on OK so now press escape so sometimes if your contours are too tight it might be a bit crowded so just keep your mouse on one of those ones select it and then right click and then select similar so now sometimes you might have multiple objects on top of each other in that case use selection cycle Control w to turn it on and that will turn on your selection cycle if you have trouble you can also add the selection cycle into your uh, array just from the ha using the hamburger icon on the bottom left corner and you should be able to find the selection cycle right up here the keyboard shortcut is Control w okay so you can turn it on and turn it off and uh, so now that is turned on and here we go so right now it's turned off so I can turn it on okay so when you turn it on when you keep your mouse on top of uh, any of those objects where your cursor is on multiple on top of uh, multiple objects it will give you this cursor with an extra little icon in there which shows the selection cycle is enabled so now when you click on it it will actually show the selection cycle and you can pick the object of your choice either the tin or the polyline so I'm gonna pick the polyline I'm gonna right click I'm gonna click on select similar so it picks all the major contours and once you're happy you can move them aside okay thanks for watching guys and let's catch up again on the next tutorial on um, on we go go into further edits and more tricks and tutorials and also I'm going to open a separate playlist uh, for um, uh, for developing plugins on top of Civil 3D. So feel free to uh, message me guys or put in the comment box if you have any further questions. Thank you.